Hey guys, and welcome back to another Armor 3 video. This video is going to be a small departure from the usual Modelist review videos, and instead it's going to be a focus on five incredible Arma 3 YouTubers you should be watching in 2023, in my opinion. If you've spent any amount of time on YouTube the last couple years, you'll probably recognize these names, and chances are, if you watch my channel, you're probably watching these guys as well. The reason I decided to make this video is because while I spend a lot of my time making content focused on mods, no one has ever really covered other content creators in this amazing community. Some of these creators do super unique things that require an absolute fuckload of work behind the scenes to give you a finished product. Most people don't realize just how much time and effort goes into making some of these videos and honestly some of the types of content are so unique that I feel more people need to know about them. So with that and in absolutely no particular order, let's get into my picks for the top five YouTubers to be watching in 2023, Volume 1. At number five is Nanner. Alright, so Nanner has recently gone through a rebranding phase and was once known as Knighton, with what I thought was a pretty bitchin' emblem, so I'm sorry to see it go. Nanner's channel is a little newer, coming online in April of 2022. In this relatively short amount of time, he's unleashed a torrent of incredible videos. Everything from mod lists to beginner guides, and even videos on how to better optimize your Arma 3 performance, to videos on creating your own dedicated server. Each one of his videos are incredibly well produced with sharp visuals and clean, well-timed edits. He's also a very easy guy to listen to and understand, with a calm demeanor that won't jar you out of your nap if you happen to be like me and pass out watching people's list videos. His content typically focuses on ground combat, and as such, his mod lists are generally focused on improving ground-based gameplay for his viewers. If I'm being honest, Nanner is massively underappreciated and deserves tens of thousands of subscribers because he punches well above his weight when it comes to video production value. If you want my recommendations on where to start with his channel, his optimized performance video on increasing your FPS and Arma honestly has amazing tricks in it that I never knew were even possible. People in there are touting going from 30 to 40 to upwards of 150 and up FPS thanks to his video, so go give it a watch. At number 4 is another class act, Useless Fodder. Fodder is the creator of the Fod Squad, a group of folks that play a multitude of games, one of the most prominent being Arma 3. Fodder himself has been very active in the Arma 3 community, focusing again primarily on ground combat and overall gameplay. His style leans more on the Milsim side of the house as he associates with players like Controlled Pairs and Karma Kit pretty regularly, and these guys are known as some heavy hitters throughout the Milsim community. Fodder spent a few years in the US Army as a communication troop in the space and cyber realm, and this has had a big impact on his desire to create tactical experiences with a tight-knit group of people. Fodder doesn't just cover Arma 3 content though, he also branches out into lots of other military style shooters with the common theme being tactical cooperative combat. Aside from being genuinely one of the nicest guys out there, he's also got a beard that can mouth fuck all of Russia. I mean look at that thing. Fodder created a really popular Arma 3 scenario called Malden Overrun, which is the only multi-mission horror based scenario ever made for Arma 3. I can't imagine how long it took to make this campaign. Honestly, one of the best videos he's ever made is actually three hours long, and it's a massive Eden Editor tutorial on how to make awesome missions. Again, I can't imagine how long it took to put all that together, but it's incredibly well made and teaches you everything you need to know about making a campaign in Arma 3. So go give it a watch. At number three is an old friend of mine, War as Hell. War has created a channel based around story-driven content. Specifically, he focuses on the role-playing and larger stories that connect between each mission so the viewers can become invested in characters and situations, some of which are often grounded in reality. He also creates alternative history videos using Arma 3 as the medium by which these stories are conveyed. Some of these videos include actual real-world military news footage from the past to help ground the story in reality even further. But of course, it's all a what-if type scenario. War is honestly the only YouTuber out there making this type of content, so if you're wanting some alt history type content to listen to where major powers like the United States and Iran get into a heated conflict, or where a second Korean war wages, you definitely need to check out his alternative history playlist. 
These are wonderfully produced and narrated by War as Hell and also have visuals that match up to the story as it pans out. All of this content is a labor of love and passion of his as he currently studies defense and strategic warfare for his master's program, so you know you're getting some top-notch content there. At number two is a man that I honestly owe a ton of success in my YouTube channel to, and that is Call Me Tommy. Tommy has one of the best tutorial-focused self-help type Arma 3 channels around. He has a ton of content on how to make better cinematics, flying tutorials, mod reviews, and even his honest opinions on whether or not Arma 3 and other Arma 3 DLC is worth it. Spoiler alert, it fucking is. About five years ago, when I first decided I really wanted to get serious about making YouTube videos, I stumbled upon Tommy's Arma 3 cinematic tutorial and was blown away by how much knowledge he was bestowing upon us. He has a genuine, caring demeanor and honestly is one of my favorite YouTubers to listen to while trying to relax. He's not super boisterous or in your face with his commentary, it's just honestly great content all around. You get quality content and learn something new every single one of his videos. And if you yourself want to create YouTube videos, I can't recommend enough that you start watching his tutorials on how to get started. Thank you, Tommy, for your dedication to teaching others and for all the knowledge you've passed on to thousands of others, myself included. My channel would honestly not exist without you. And finally, at number one is one of the heaviest hitters in the Arma 3 Milsim community, and that is Karmica. Over the last calendar year, the quality of his Milsim-centric videos has increased by an immeasurable amount and is hands down some of the best you'll ever find on YouTube. What drew me into Karma's recent uploads, aside from the fact that he's got massive 200 player missions happening with planned and programmed attack maneuvers and calls for fire, was the amazing intro briefing graphics that are super reminiscent of stylized pre-briefs you'd get in campaign cutscenes that help set up the story. These are masterfully made, and if Karma has a team of folks helping create these graphics, then bravo to them because they absolutely fucking nailed it. By using visual aids and moving graphics, you get immersed immediately into the fight while also understanding the geopolitics behind the mission. If that wasn't enough, these videos are shot from tons of different angles and not just Karma's. Multiple viewpoints such as ISR assets, ground troops, and aerial forces provide different windows into the fight and massively increase your immersion. This isn't a new technique by any means, but in my humble opinion, it is the epitome of capturing Milsim operations. You will seldom get higher fidelity mission planning and execution anywhere else. It helps that everyone in the video is dedicated to providing a believable experience as well because it's not just karma. He is just a cog in the greater machine and hearing the comms chatter over the radio of multiple units all synchronized around a singular or sometimes multiple simultaneous objectives is a masterclass in Milsim content creation. If you want to spend an hour watching 200 people make some of the most awesome memories while gaming, check out Karmakut's recent uploads. Well guys, that will do it for this video. I do surely hope you check out these incredible creators. Again, this video is meant solely to raise awareness of some incredible Arma 3 creators out there, some of which are massively underrated in my opinion. I'd like to shout out these fucking legends on the screen right now. Thank you so much to my patrons for their continued support to me and my channel. And of course, I'd like to thank you, the viewer, for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. We are crazily halfway through 2023 already, and I can't wait to see what kind of boner fuel the Arma 3 Workshop cooks up next. Thank you all again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.